What is this? Everyone I've seen use this filter is saying it's like super accurate, but I don't know if the filter can tell you your beige flags. Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh! No way! No way! How to dress to attract a man a tutorial rule number one make sure your hair is always long and lustrous and never put up rule number two make sure to show a little skin especially those stems ladies rule number three footwear should be dainty and delicate rule number four show off that waist at all times rule number five always have a pleasant expression on your face i promise you will attract a man a boom chicka boom Miss Rabbit has fainted. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Let them eat cake. That's such nonsense. I would never say that. When you take a step back and you look at the severity of the situation, yeah. Is it that deep? Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Okay, first one to get three in a row can go through the other person's notes app. Let's go, baby. Okay. Hold on. You ain't got it. Nope. Oh my god. I swear! Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought he got it. I went too fast. Oh, you that suck. That so bad. You suck. Uh, you suck. Oh, no! No, I don't. You suck! No, I don't. No! <laughs> you suck! No! Stop! I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get this one. I did not get that one. That was what? <laughs> <laughs> That was no. so bad. Oh, yeah, it's slowing down again. Okay. Up, no! That was so bad. What was that? I, literally, I literally, I don't know. Dang. I feel like if I zone out. No, 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 watch, I got it now. Oh, he's so focused. Stop, okay, stop. you're getting in my space. I can't focus. Oh, that's yeah, too bad. You sucker! You're going Ooh. at grandma speed right now. No! So? Get Wait, I get it. redemption, redemption, okay. redemption. Okay, it's my redemption. Damn, it's down. <laughs> <laughs> I'ma grow up and be an astronaut. <laughs> I'm on a Mexican radio. So nothing bad happened? Mm -mm. You didn't wreck it? Mm -mm. You didn't hit anybody? Mm -mm. You didn't run anybody over? Mm -mm. You didn't get a speeding ticket? Mm -mm. Wait, Jeffy? Mm -mm. Why are you making that face? Mm -mm. Jeffy, did you get a speeding ticket? Mm -mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like. I told my boyfriend I'm gonna make him lunch, but I'm actually just gonna give him whatever girl dinner I get. Brazil nuts, okay. 
flavored yogurt. Okay, he's lactose intolerant. Cottage cheese, he's lactose intolerant. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so funny. Okay, I don't have Brazil nuts, but I do have some almonds, so I'm just gonna give that to him. Here's the flavored yogurt. And then I have some cottage cheese. Bro, he's gonna be so grossed out by this. That's such a sad looking girl dinner. Oh my gosh. Babe, lunch is ready. Bye. Eat something I thought you'd really like. <laughs> I can't even eat that. What do you mean? I'm lactose intolerant. What? Why is there like just food? nuts here? You don't want my food? Yeah, I've never seen you eat this. You are lying I'm trying, right now. I'm to... I'll eat the almonds. You... Thank you for trying. Come here, babe. No. So nothing bad happened? Mm -mm. You didn't wreck it? Mm -mm. You didn't hit anybody? Mm -mm. You didn't run anybody over? Mm -mm. You didn't get a speeding ticket? Mm -mm. What? Jeffy? Mm -mm. Why are you making that face? Mm -mm. Chuppy, did you get a speeding ticket? I'm pregnant. <laughs> What's amazing? Thank you. And just like that, you've been blocked. <laughs> and just like that, you've been blocked. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. All right. Okay. I can't get this show on. I just might marry that nigga today, but then I found out that Mickey was gay. Oh, oh. oh Mickey, it's so fun. Saying the first word that comes to mind until we get the same word. Okay, ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Elephant. Onion. Octopus. <laughs> Onion. Onion. Woman. Woman. Oh. 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 Light work, no reaction. Light work, no reaction. Ooh. Okay, it's got a little kick. Oh. Miss Rabbit has fainted. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. We will miss her so much. And she was so sweet. She was never angry. She was never mean. She always had a nice thing to say. Never negative. Tired of the way he treats me. Tired of the guilty feeling. I'm gonna go all the way up. I wanna do it, stop hiding. You hide it forever. Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky, Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky, Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky. Shredding waves is much more dangerous than people realize. You're very brave, Ken. Thank you, Barbie. Let me ask you a question. What would you rate yourself on a scale one through 10? A 10. You think other people agree with that? I don't care what other people think. Confidence is key, period. Hey, bro, what would you rate this girl on a scale one through 10? What the fuck? That look like a fucking lizard. I love pickles. My mother makes me eat them. I'm crazy about them. I say my pickles are a pickle. How about two cents? Okay. I have two pickles. I have two pickles. I have two pickles today. Hey, hey. Oh my gosh, this girl's butt is like massive. <laughs> okay, well, that's interesting. You know why? Why? Because... January, February, March, April, May, June...
Everybody told me that I sound like CG5 Probably because I am CG5 It smells like pee pee and poo poo in here. No, seriously, why does it smell like caca and wee whiz in here? Mm, 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 mm. Put that down. So nothing bad happened? Mm -mm. You didn't wreck it? Mm -mm. You didn't hit anybody? Mm -mm. You didn't run anybody over? Mm -mm. You didn't get a speeding ticket? Mm -mm. Wait, Jeffy? Mm -mm. Why are you making that face? Mm -mm. Jeffy, did you get a speeding ticket? Me down to the reptile, you know it. Hey, baby, how are you? I should get some sleep. <laughs> mean then triple then double. Upgrade the Glock with a laser and muzzle. I'm on a whole nother. I'ma grow up and be an astronaut. I'm on a Mexican radio. Nobody sent me here. How do you know it's where I live? Babies. I left you alone for five minutes and you spent $873? You left me alone in a Costco. You're joking. You're joking. And then I found me a who could play the bass. He's kinda quiet but his body aches. Spent the day dreaming and the night's awake. How old are you? 29. I'm 30. We missed your birthday? Seeing what I look like in AI. Ready with me while I teach you guys my makeup routine. This is my everyday makeup. Half the time I use primer, and the other half of the time I literally use moisturizer. This is the Too Faced Plump and Prime. I always start by filling in my eyebrows. Some people like to do foundation, but I find for my eyebrow shape, it's easiest for me 
to focus on them first. This is the best brow glue. It is the NYX brow glue, and I go ahead and just brush that up. This glue will keep your eyebrows in place for literally the rest of your life if you left it there. Next, I take my foundation and just put it all over my face. Also, e.l.f. has an exact same, almost replica of the Charlotte Tilbury foundation for a lot cheaper. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I place it under my eye, but not too much, just like in the inner corners, outer corners, and right down the bridge of my nose. I find using a smaller, more fluffy brush makes concealer a lot easier to blend out while still remaining in like the precise location you put it. This is the best bronzer to ever exist. This is a creamy bronzer by e.l.f. It's literally $7, and if you've never tried it, you have to. It's so much more affordable than all these other hyped up cream bronzers, and I find it blends into your skin so much more like easy. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit on both sides of my nose. Rare Beauty Blush is always amazing. Not too much though. <laughs> When I blend my blush, I kind of blend it almost a little bit into my under eye and up towards my brow just because I find that it lifts your face a little bit more than if you blend it lower. Little life hack, if you didn't know, your bronzer will also be the perfect transition shade on your eyelid. Ta-da! When doing your powder, try to almost stipple it right where you put your concealer initially. It'll brighten up your under eyes. Dark brown liner looks good on everyone in every single eye color so just using a little bit of that is a lot easier than trying to do a harsh wing it'll also make your eyelashes look more full this is my favorite highlighter but this one also works just as well it's a lot cheaper eyelashes are literally like the biggest part of my whole makeup routine take your natural eyelashes to the fake ones so that you can't tell the difference putting waterproof eyeliner on the inner corner leading up to your eyelash makes it look a hundred times better and i just use the benefit benetton and you're done Light work, no reaction. Light work, no reaction. Whew. Okay, it's got a little kick. Some takeout, so like, let's get down and pig out. It's Shredder. Blam! Miss Rabbit has fainted. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Miss Rabbit has fainted. Miss Rabbit has fainted again.
Me? Obsessed with me? Yeah. You guys always ask here is my go-to eye makeup tutorial featuring the new Too Faced Island Spritz palette which literally smells incredible I love it so much and the shades are so beautiful I start with the shade Toasted in Tuscany and just sweep that all across my lid I think this is great going all the way up to your brow bone and really creates a beautiful transition shade then I take the next shade and just apply it on the outer V of my eye I like to do the top and bottom parts of my lid I think it really opens up your eye then I use the shade Espresso Yourself and use this as like a tight line water liner. I think that dark browns are beautiful right around your waterline and give you a little bit more of an open round shape. I squint my eyes and also take a soft brush and apply right under where that indent of the skin is. I find that this makes your eyes look more open and round. Next, I'm going to take the shade Spritz and Glitz and just apply that all over the lid. I love purple. I think it's beautiful. I also like to apply this on the bottom part of my eyelid. I know a lot of people don't do this, but I think it's beautiful. And if you haven't tried it, definitely try it out. The shade Lake Como, I'm just going to add in the center as well. Then take your favorite eyelashes or mascara. I use both. And I apply lashes on the top and mascara on the bottom. I'll show you what it looks like with and without mascara. And then this is the final product. I love it. Make sure to check out the new Too Faced palette. I should get some sleep. <laughs> I tried to pay, he begged me to stay. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, you just wanna rock. Big boots in the bus, they pop. It's not coming off. She's laughing. How could she sit there and laugh and look so beautiful? You're beautiful. Thank you. But what else? What else? Is beauty all that matters to you? I had a vision. So pick me, choose me, love me. Oops, got your coping skills. Now let's see what we got. That's not a coping skill. Okay, my summer, like, sucked, so I need a good era. I need, like, an it girl era, please.
Okay, okay. All the it girls are in the 90s. I can take that. Compli- Oh, no. I ain't doing that crap. Give me something new. 2010s era. Okay. Dude. No, I'm not. That is not an option. That is not an option. Okay, what's my era? Cozy. Okay, okay. I can see that. Bro. This filter is literally about to get a, like, knuckle sandwich. Shut up. Okay, what era am I in? Rat. <laughs> Okay, at least my love life's okay this time. Okay, healthy skin. I mean, this is honestly probably the most realistic. Ghosting, fuck it up. Ghosting, fuck it up. Ghosting, that's what's up. Ghosting, uh, hey, boo boo. Too much complexity to them. Ashley, look at me. Never back down, never what? Never give up. Never back down, never what? Never give up. You see something you like, baby? all your comments asking for a tutorial on this hairstyle so that's what we're going to be doing today you're just going to want to start with your hair down it can be dirty in fact it being dirty kind of makes it easier to work with i use a comb two ponytails and a flat iron for this hairstyle that's basically all you need just go ahead and split your hair straight down the middle into two sections and take a ponytail and section off one side of the hair just so it's out of the way then i like to take a brush and brush my hair back so it's like in the direction we're going to be twisting the hair but you don't have to do that at this point if you want any of those little baby hairs out i'd go ahead and pull them out because it's going to be kind of difficult to do later and so i just pulled those little face framing hairs out and go ahead and took a bobby pin actually it looks kind of silly but go ahead and pin it to the other side of your head i promise this helps it take it out of the way even if it looks kind of stupid then you just take a section of hair at the top of your head and split it into two and then twist it over each other then i take some hair at the top of my head and add it to the section facing that you'll begin to notice when you twist the section whichever section is facing like the top of your hair is where you'll add hair to that and the section facing the bottom of your head is the one where you're going to add hair from the bottom and you literally just twist your hand back away from your face it's super easy once you get the hang of it it might take a couple tries but after that i promise you can do this hairstyle in like three minutes so once i get down towards the base of my neck i just add like hair from the bottom of my head it's kind of easier to work with in fact you can start just adding hair from the bottom section if you'd like it doesn't really look any different so um that might be a bit easier if you're just starting out doing this hairstyle and make sure to keep the hair pulled tight if you let go at all it's going to unravel so once you get to this point and it's at the base, this is where I tend to see people have problems. You're going to need to take these two sections and twist them the opposite direction of the way you were twisting the hair before. So I just keep one section in my mouth because it's easier and then twist the other one. And you'll see I'm twisting them away from the other twist. Like it's the opposite direction. Then once they're both twisted in the opposite direction, you're going to twist them across each other going the direction of the original twist. And what this does is it creates, I think, friction. I'm not exactly sure, but it creates something that keeps your hair from un unraveling after you put it in a ponytail. And that way you'll be able to keep that little twist formation throughout the whole day. So as you'll see, I just kind of keep that twist going as I go down and then put a ponytail in my hair and you'll see that it will stay put. Hold on one second. I'll show you. It took me a while to get this ponytail on. And then ta-da! See, it doesn't unravel. So that's probably the most important part. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side of my hair. And then I'll come back to show you all how I finish off this hairstyle. Okay, once I'm done with that, I like to take a flat iron. You can also use like a curling wand. And I just like to curl these little sections. I feel like it gives it a more finished look. And I curl the ends. And that's literally all I do. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it helped. They 
were fake? Of course they were fake! The 21 telling you a pussy. Spin a block twice. Okay, Batman, we'll take it from here. Also, I don't know. Shut up, it is not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rocket, chicka rocket, chicka boom. Baby, I don't feel so good Six words you never understood Okay, let me tell you what. This one, this is my favorite. Wait, wait, wait. This one. That's it. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. This is my favorite. Go all the way up. I want to do it. Stop hiding. You hide it forever. Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky. Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky. Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky.
listening? Damn. Oh my Are you gosh. Okay? Oh my gosh. Oh, you're welcome, baby. Yeah. Oh, I'm so oh, sweet. I'm the so, best. This is so sweet. Oh my oh, god. So now, now you need to remember. <laughs> Get ready with me because it's my birthday. I have like literally no plans today. I, I don't really think I'm gonna do anything. So I'm one of those people that always gets randomly sad on their birthday. I don't really know why. Like I have no reason to be sad, but I always end up crying for some reason. So I'm hoping that that doesn't happen today. <laughs> my theory is that hot girls cry on their birthday. So I think it's okay, but that's so depressing. I don't think I'm gonna cry. So I'm, I'm hoping I don't cry. I always end up crying. So when I was little, like my entire childhood, it was a little tradition for my dad and I to go to little daddy-daughter breakfast every single birthday. So we would wake up around 6 or 6.30 and go to this little diner down the street every single year. And it was my favorite part of the day without fail every time. That was probably my favorite thing about my birthday. I have two birthdays I remember distinctly hating. Not because it was like a bad day or anything, but I was so terrified of a dentist. So I think it was like my 10th birthday, if I remember correctly. I do remember correctly, actually. And I discovered about two weeks earlier that my mom scheduled a dentist appointment on my 10th birthday. And I think I cried for about two hours that night. I was being very dramatic. It was just the dentist. It wasn't a big deal. But I had like a phobia of the dentist, and I didn't really make it known that I had a phobia of the dentist. But I think my parents realized after that situation. Believe it or not, there's actually two cases where I got a doctor's appointment scheduled on my birthday. And the second time, it was my 17th birthday, and it was my first OBGYN appointment. I'm not even trying to diss my parents, but it's so funny that this keeps happening. I think I cried like two hours over that one too. But you know, it ended up working out fine because my parents felt so bad that they accidentally scheduled the OBGYN appointment for my 17th birthday that I ended up getting a hamster that day. Y'all might remember Junebug. <laughs> yeah, y'all remember Junebug? Yeah, I convinced my parents to let me have her because I had to go to the OBGYN on my 17th birthday. <laughs> I did have some absolutely incredible birthdays. I think one of them was my 12th birthday, and I got the American Girl Doll of the Year that year. I cannot remember her name at all, but I remember she had removable pink extensions, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I was obsessed with that doll. And she kind of looked like Kit, but she wasn't Kit. I don't know. You guys might remember her. I also had a super intense Lego phase, and one year I saved up all my money. I think I was like 11, and I bought this giant Lego cruise ship. And I remember that Lego set taking like, I don't know, four hours to set up. My favorite birthday was my 15th birthday. That's when my parents decided I was allowed to wear all the makeup. And so my mom took me to Sephora and got a full face for me. And it's literally the most amazing memory in my brain. All done. I'm going to go have a fun birthday. Bye. Yo, I got that look like Fat Ed Chris Brown or no kelp. I tell you what you look like, but you won't like it. <laughs>
Because no one likes fat girls. If you never had a boyfriend, you're a lesbian. But if you've had more than one, you're a thought. If you have periods, it's gross. But if you haven't, you're not mature. If you lose your virginity, you're a whore. But if you haven't, you're scared. If you don't send nudes, you get blocked. But if you do, you get exposed and labeled for it. And guys wonder why girls are so insecure. Open your fucking eyes. This guy is so hot. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. No, he's like beautiful. What are you saying? I've never seen a guy this. Oh my Who? gosh. Who? Dude, what? he's so fine. He's so fine. <laughs> you fine. <laughs> okay, Alright, get a good look. <laughs> Alright, you can go oh, first. I forgot about the cat. You can go first. How are you getting no in? No freaking way. Okay. Am no I, freaking way, up? babe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. You're feeling it. I literally up, just filled it up so quick. You're feeling Let's it. Go. <laughs> Let's go. You're oh, up. You're up. You're up. You're up. You're up. You're up. <laughs> oh, we're going to win. I think I'm filling it up. Are you really? Yeah, I think we're I'm filling higher. I so think we can I hear. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where it is. Go! Go, go, go. My water's almost out. Go! I'm going! What are you- Okay, let's see if it's- Ah! Do you think it's full? Do you think it's full? I don't know. It's the- No! No! <laughs> you're making- You're swinging the cup! <laughs> Okay, take it off on three. I already took it off! <laughs> uh -huh. The other one.